Hi Virgo, welcome to your October 31st through November 7th, a weekly love reading. I did not skip the end of October. I'm going live, um, or I went live on Monday for the week. And so we're gonna jump right in. Just wanted to get ahead. I'm doing this a little different, so I'm gonna pull an overall energy since we're in Scorpio season. Um, and these are major arcana, so it's gonna be the, the energy the entire week. And then I'm gonna do your money, a card for your money and career, a card for your family, friends, and then a love card. And then we'll get into the love spread. And if it resonates with you, we'll do an extended. Also check out my Patreon if you're interested. For the same price of the extended you get from a, a monthly membership, you get access to all the extendeds and exclusive all signs. All right, the world card here in reverse, I put the way I pulled it up is backwards, so it's the reverse, which is talking about something not feeling un feeling finished, okay? You feel like something hasn't moved forward, something's not moving forward. You feel like maybe you've been, even with work, it could be with work, could be with family, you just feel like stuck or feel like you're just not seeing the outcome yet that you want and you may be working really hard towards something. For some of you, this could be a karmic cycle or you just, you're, you're on this, you feel like you're just, perpetuated mo motion and you just want something to complete itself a cycle to complete okay so that's going to be the energy and that reminds me kind of the energy in Scorpio to the transformation like you're just going through some shifts even though things don't seem like they're moving this week maybe this week they are things are happening behind the scenes could, and you could be connecting with a Taurus Leo Aquarius Scorpio as well too so if you feel like in your relationship things aren't moving it's un, that's my unfinished business card when it comes to love readings. It's just unfinished business. It's like, it's not over. You haven't completed that cycle just yet. One more shuffle for Virgo. All right, I'm kind of in an earthy Virgo mood today. All right, material harvest at the at the bottom here, and I usually don't take these in reverse, but it was in reverse. But um, this is saying that things you are going to see your harvest with money. You're going to see your money coming in. Okay, you feel like you're not, or your career is not moving. Some of you may want a career change, and you just feel stuck. Okay, I have harmony here. So this one's going to be your money, your money and your family. The material harvest. We have harmony here is a balance in family and life. And I also feel like that kind of connects with, um, could possibly be marriage too with love. But this is love here, the accelerated motion. So a lot of passion and a lot of passion, communication happening in love. So I feel like you think things aren't moving, but things are gonna start harmonizing themselves and come into a balance. I just, I love this card for your family and friends. I feel like you are in harmony with your family and friends too as well. Things seem like they've ironed out if you've had uh, situations in the past, but I also just get this energy of, you really are loved and supported and you're around a lot of good people that just love and support you, okay? And maybe just reaching out or connecting with family members or your friends, you know, in, during this time, during this week, if you're feeling a little down. But again, the material harvest, you are working really hard on something and you're just not seeing the fruits of your labor just yet, but you're about to. And I'm cross reading them all together. Things are gonna move pretty fast. But this is in the love department and you have eight, six, and nine. Six is all about self-love and love. Nine is about, you know, completion here. You're going to, you're, you're about at the end, the world card in reverse. You're about to tip that scale and it's about to complete, all right? And then you have the eight, abundance. Look at all this abundance coming in for you, Virgo. Look at how fast. Things are going to start moving so fast you're not going to know what the hell hit you. All right? And standing in your power, standing and feeling good. Like you're finally going to feel like you have two feet on the ground and you're, you're you know, just really in charge, right? Is the energy I just got from that card. All right? So let's pull out some tarot for your love. Things are going to start getting very passionate. You may receive some messages this week. Um, maybe a lot of messages too for some of you. Um, you know, we haven't really got into the love yet, so it could be a singles read at this point. Um, that you could be receiving a lot of messages, a lot of communication online. I see that with that card. Um, and for those of you that are connected to somebody, I see things just moving pretty fast. And if you're waiting on communication, it's coming in. All right, one more shuffle for Virgo.
All right, the two of pentacles in reverse, making a decision, all right? I get this energy of things are, like you don't feel like you're juggling so much, like this is a good time, but I also feel like that's also the energy of, um, you know, kind of feeling like stuck too and wanting things to move. You know, that's that energy that I was picking up at. Seven of Pentacles here. That's a lot of Pentacles. It's still picking up on your monies. It's talking about um, return of investment. So you will, so Virgo, sorry. I know you, well, don't be sorry. I mean, why would I be sorry if it's coming in as money when we're trying to talk about love? I just feel like you feel like things are stuck, but you're about to receive your return of investment. So expect some money to come in this week for you strongly. Okay. Page of Pentacles in reverse here. Page of Pentacles in reverse is feeling as though you're not receiving the communication that you would like. And this could be with the person that you're connecting with. Somebody's not giving you a love offer. And you are, could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, could be somebody younger than you too as well. The Knight of Cups showing up here. You just feel like a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. You feel like love's not coming in for you. You're not seeing an opportunity. You're not receiving any cues. You're not receive, receiving any synchronicities. You're not receiving any, you know, those are my watch for coincidences or watch for synchronicities card. And you're just not seeing any movement. Especially with the Knight of, Cu Knight of Cups in reverse. Where's my love offer? Where's my romance? Where's my, where's my partner? Four of Pentacles here, holding on way too tight. That's a lack of mindset, lack of mindset for you. You have so much Pentacle. This is Virgo. This is a typical Virgo read for me. Um, just in your head. Focusing on your money though, focusing on your money, but really worrying. There's a lot of worrying and overanalyzing in this read, okay? And starting to think negatively. But look, here comes your emperor, male, female, ready to either make peace or take action, make plans for the future, All right? This is somebody who's very, very, you know, family oriented, family oriented, and could be in a high position could be in a military position, please. That's always my government or high CEO, you know, just a high position. Somebody who's got money, who's very stable. Could be somebody who's older than you as well. Even though I said they could be younger than you too. It can go either way. I have an Aries. And I just feel like this could be a divine connection coming in for you as well. And that's all about taking action too. And that's that accelerated motion. So I feel like some of you are really worried or overanalyzing the situation and you're starting to just think it's not coming, love's not coming in for you. And then boom, and this can be my peacemaker too. So it could be somebody who you haven't been communicating with, but things are about to harmonize and you're about to make peace with them. And I feel like it's a soulmate connection because the harmony card, this soulmate card did show up for you, even though it was friends and family position. I don't know why I'm struggling with talking today. All right. So we have the 10 of pentacles and the emperor that's marriage to me. And that's somebody who's got you're marrying into money, Virgo, marrying into money, a very wise investment. Okay. And this is, this is what, this is what's coming in for you. And for some of you, if somebody that you have on your mind hasn't been communicating with you and you're losing hope in a new relationship, here comes the emperor. All right, the tower moment, something unexpected. You are not going to expect this. Boom. All right, the five of cups in reverse. No longer grieving, no longer in a loss, no longer feeling lost and, un, you know, alone feeling emotionally fulfilled. This could be an apology, reconciliation for some of you, especially with the Emperor card being a peacemaker. But I feel like this is just gonna happen all of a sudden in November, the first week of November, things are gonna change. Like I said, that accelerated motion for you, another Aries energy and Scorpio energy. Strong Aries though. It's just gonna happen. There's that tower moment. You are not gonna expect this. And the struggle that you're going through with that four of pentacles, that lack mindset, the end of just sorrow and loneliness or, or just feeling regretful. If you've been feeling regretful or feeling lonely or lost from a past relationship, waiting for reconciliation, you're not going to expect this and it's coming in for you. So there's, that's just it. I don't know what else to say. Look at this, the king of pentacles right here at the bottom. 
this person who you're connecting with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, even if it's somebody from your past, has either grown or this person is very mature and has a lot of money. The Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. Right? The Magician in reverse. Is that lack mindset? And the Hanged Man in reverse. Pisces. And there's Six of Wands here. Moving towards success and getting the attention and maybe a promotion. Okay? So I see luck changing for you. I feel like you're about to walk into a new world. I feel like the world card's in reverse. You're getting them, you feel like you're stuck in this energy, but it's about to shift for you. You're about to, you're about to complete this cycle and things are gonna move fast. And I see marriage. I see marriage material coming in for you. A divine connection, all right? If you wanna look into the extended, I'll keep these here and I'll go further into the extended um, and see you, know, you and them, how it works out, the challenges, how they really feel about you and where this is going and any messages they may have for you if this is a past person, all right? Love you guys, take care.